everybody. I could do it better than that. Hello, everybody. Nope, that was just stupid. Hello, everybody. Oh, no, that's just no. Uh, nope, nope. Don't do a deep voice. Uh, nope, nope, nope. High voice isn't good either. Hello, everybody. No, no. The dancing is just really just weird. Hello. I'm not, not even wearing my glasses this time. What am I doing? Hello. I went from the wrong side. Hello, everybody. This is Jacob Pasquale, ASMR. Why am I so awkward? Alright, so I know I'm not the only one who feels like everything they do is just so awkward. And yes, despite what it looks like from my videos, I am a very awkward person. But if you had to choose between going back to Captain Marvel or going back to the final battle of Avengers, I mean... Oh my god, I haven't seen you in so long. Mwah, mwah. That was so cringy. I am the extraordinary homo sapien. Oh, that's the extraordinary homo sapien? Sorry. Wait a second. Did you say eight videos ago that this was going to be the next video? prepare myself for the inevitable disappointment. Fun facts with Jacob. Anyway, back to the task on hand. Terrible jokes with Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a hell. <laughs> I, I'm a <laughs> But you probably couldn't tell. I think we've all experienced some type of awkwardness to some extent. Maybe when the waiter or waitress comes over to ask how you're doing with your food right after you took what seems like the biggest bite of food ever and you're just like... <laughs> Or what about when the teacher calls you to answer a question and another kid yells it out and now you're not sure if you should repeat the answer or not before the record you didn't know the answer to the question, Jeremy! Also when the teacher's doing attendance and you're practicing in your head how you're gonna say here when the teacher calls your name but then when the teacher does get to your name you panic and end up going here! Oh and how about when you finish a conversation with somebody and they say thank you or goodbye or have a nice day or anything that pretty much mostly requires a response but you've already moved on to the next thing so it takes you a minute to process what they said but by the time you've processed it and figure out what your response is going to be it's too late so then you say nothing and then you worry for the rest of the day that they think you're a jerk for not replying? No? Nobody? Or instead you reply with something that doesn't make sense like saying thank you to being asked what time it is. I think that there are two types of awkwardness. Awkwardness from overthinking and awkwardness from underthinking. You either excessively practice something in your head, but then when the moment actually comes, you panic and then end up saying a bunch of gibberish. For instance, maybe you're practicing how you're going to order your food at McDonald's. I mean, you're a picky eater, so obviously you got to make sure they take off the ketchup, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, burger, and buns off your hamburger. But you're also trying to not seem like that guy, but I mean, let's be real here, you are indeed that guy. And then you're not sure if you should say the actual name of the food or the number it is on the menu. Then there's underthinking. Well, maybe you're put in a situation where you need time to think, but aren't given the time to think, so you end up acting without thinking, and you just say a bunch of gibberish or something that doesn't make sense. Like saying, you too, after somebody says happy birthday to you. It's not their birthday. And ironically, you usually overthink to avoid the awkwardness of underthinking, or maybe vice versa, creating more awkwardness. You either experience awkwardness from planning too much, or not enough. Just recently, I got to experience an example of not planning enough. So I started this speech class a few weeks ago, and on the first day we were randomly giving a topic and we had to write a three minute speech in three minutes and present it to the class. And just so that you don't think that this teacher is the meanest teacher in the world, it was supposed to show how much planning goes into a speech and that you can't just write a speech in a few minutes. It takes time. Also supposed to show how much we grow as speakers over the course. So anyway, I got the topic books and I'm like, I got this, I work in a library for crying out loud, this is going to be the best speech anyone's ever heard, right? Wrong. So horribly wrong. See, I had all these ideas written down, but I didn't have any organization or planning of any of it. So I ended up standing in front of the whole class going, so, books. Worked a library. Those have books. Uh, there's different types of books. Uh, textbooks. Uh... Comic books, uh, Harry Potter is a book. I mean, the class was only like eight people, so I don't think I went in front of like a hundred people and did this, but you, you know what, that, now that I think about it, that's somehow worse. Yeah, so that was pretty awkward and kind of embarrassing. And the teacher recorded it, so at some point I'm going to have to watch it and relive the whole awkward, cringy experience all over again. I think for me at least, the less comfortable I am with you, the more awkward I am.
This is why it's easier for me to talk to my close friends or family because I know that they're okay with me either taking a moment to gather my thoughts or stumbling over my words for a little bit until I figure out what I'm saying. What it really comes down to is that there's a lot going on up here. Quite honestly, it's a mess. I mean, I'm constantly thinking of video ideas or I plan to go over the world or how to be less awkward. Did I say that second one out loud? And a lot of the time, it's all happening at once. So I need a moment to quiet everything down in my brain. This is why I'm a lot better at talking in videos than in person. I can take a moment to clear my head and if I mess up a line, I can just do it again. H how is that the line that I didn't mess up? I have a script here, so I don't even have to think about what I'm saying. It's all written and planned out. I have the most precise and effective way of saying something right here. Whereas in real life, I need to hear what you said, process what you said, think about what I'm going to say, and then think about how I want to say it, all in the appropriate time between what you said and my response. That's a lot to keep track of. Especially when an adult is talking, and obviously, as always, I'm zoned out. I'm kidding, I don't zone out when adults are talking. That much. Now, I just have to say, when two awkward people are having any type of interaction, that's a dangerous combination, because it's just like... <laughs> That, that, that's the whole conversation, I mean, it's just like... That, that, that's it, that's it. That's the whole conversation. So anyway, I hope that this video was something of use to you. Please comment below some of your most awkward moments. And also, I don't say this very often, but please like and subscribe, and maybe check out some of my other videos. I really do appreciate it. Anyway... <laughs> that's a wrap! And the teacher, and the teacher recorded it, so at some point I have to, and the teacher recorded it, so at some point I have to, and the teacher, and the teacher recorded it, so at some point I'm to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch it. So at some point I'm gonna have to watch it, 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 I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. That's how it's, how did I just figure it out now? I, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch it. So at some point, I'm gonna have to watch it, and I'm gonna have, 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 have. And the teacher. And the teacher recorded it. So at some point, I have to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch it. And the teacher recorded it. So at some point, I'm gonna have to. And the teacher recorded it. So at some point, I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna have, 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 have. <laughs> oh, I'm so awkward.